Okay, so once we'd uh, completed the dam break tutorial, we wanted to put some of the things that we'd learnt into practice in the uh, two-dimensional boat simulation that we were trying to uh, create. So the first thing that we did was we uh, imported some uh, solid geometry that we were already using in the 3D simulation. So uh, here's what we imported. Uh, it's uh, two blocks which represent the uh, the volume of air and the uh, volume of water and they've had uh, this whole shape uh, taken out of uh, of them to represent the uh, the volume of the boat so once we brought those uh, those uh, solid blocks in we selected uh, these two faces and created some uh, some surfaces from those uh, that we could then use in the 2D simulation and once we'd created the surfaces we uh, we got rid of the solid bodies themselves because obviously they were in 3D and we were going to run a 2D simulation so we've got these two nice surfaces that represent the uh, the air in the uh, 2D simulation and the water in the 2D simulation. So then we uh, we went round the geometry, uh, just specifying uh, pieces of the geometry that we would want to reference later on uh, in Fluent. So we uh, we uh, gave a label to the uh, to the input for the uh, air, which is highlighted in green, and the input for the water. Uh, the output for the water which is highlighted in green there output for the air uh, the top of the air domain uh, the bottom of the water domain uh, the interface between the two domains uh, so there's two of these there's the interface at the bottom of the air domain and then there's the uh, interface at the top of the uh, water domain as well and then obviously there's the volume of the uh, air, although it is an area in a 2D simulation, not a volume. And then there's the volume of the water as well. So once we'd labelled all these things, we were confident that, we, that we'd be able to reference them uh, when we were in Fluent later on uh, down the uh, setup. Uh, one last thing that we did uh, in the uh, design modeler here is we uh, created a new part uh, from the uh, the two pieces of geometry so we essentially unified them into one piece uh, and we set this special option here which is uh, we didn't want to share the topology of the two parts so the uh, the two interfaces that we labeled already uh, the interface between the air and the water and then between the water and the air uh, would be kept intact it wouldn't try and unify them into a single edge so then once we'd done all that we uh, saved all those changes and progressed on to the uh, meshing phase of the uh, of the setup